marijuana is used to relieve symptoms associated with gastrointestinal distress or disease has been studied in, in clinical trials uh, and has been used found to be a useful treatment by doctors who are experimenting with it with their patients and patients themselves who happen to discover it on their own. I remember the case of one young man um, in his 20s I interviewed who had ulcerative colitis, severe, bloody, uh, inflammatory disease, uh, caused him a lot of pain and cramping, and um, he was you know, going towards the route of needing surgery. And he told me that once he was at a friend's house and they said you should try smoking marijuana when he was having one of these really severe um, exacerbations. And he said, are you kidding, really? Uh, th what's this going to do? And um, he didn't believe it, but then he t described to me, and I took a very detailed notes of this interview, even recorded it. He described all of a sudden how when he used this marijuana that he had an immediate relief of all the cramping and pain in his, in his gut, and he, he was able to actually sit down comfortably and, and avoid going to the emergency room. And since that time, he uh, continued to integrate this into his treatment to the point where his GI doctor, his gastroenterologist had written our authorization letter to allow him to use it for the treatment of his ulcerative colitis. And it's a fantastic thing for a patient like that at a young age who uh, finds a relief from, from a plant medicine because uh, they're not, maybe they uh, will not have to go on to develop a uh, need for surgery or develop, uh, you know, the, or the other problems that come with really worsening ulcerative colitis. And the same thing people report with Crohn's disease, which is a kind of another type of inflammatory GI disorder, but le potentially less severe, in some cases more severe, depending on how bad you have it. But basically, uh, there was a study out of uh, Israel where they studied, looked at a lot of patients who were using uh, cannabis for Crohn's relief, and they found that a whole range of quality of life indicators got better in those patients. Why is this all working? Because it turns out the GI tract uh, is full of cannabinoid receptors, which are those chemical uh, like uh, locks uh, that the keys that are made in cannabis kind of lock into. And it, the GI system is full of its own nervous system and it's full of its own lymph tissue, its own immune tissue. And in these inflammatory disorders, both of those are out of whack or dysregulated. And using cannabis, cannabinoids, which are basically a homeostatic system, can help to reduce the inflammation and potentially relieve kind of the pain of, uh, that you get from and cramping uh, through the uh, interaction with that nerve, the, the gut's nervous system. So uh, it's a very interesting uh, application, and there are studies that are showing it's a lot of promise. And um, I'm sure um, you just do if you do a Google search, you'll find a lot of uh, reports of this. And who knows? In the future, we might be able to um, potentially reduce the progression of GI disorders like Crohn's and, and ulcerative colitis if we were integrating cannabis and cannabis-based medicines.